All right, uh, Kevin's Cottage end of week three and four. Uh, we kind of skipped a week because uh, some stuff didn't happen the way we needed it to, but that's all right. As you can see, we are now looking at the uh, Wolf Hotel on Wolf Island. Um, I uh, shot a little video of us uh, drifting the, uh, the boat in, uh, but of course all hands on deck, so it's not very long. So if you missed that, um, we are now docked at the Wolf Hotel's uh, docking area for boats. So uh, appreciate uh, Tom and Chris uh, letting us uh, park here for the winter. So um, looking around, really not a ton to see, but um, if you look back at the old uh, videos, uh, the uh, sea beams have been cut out of this side and uh, this side. If we look in where the bathroom is going to be, the sea beam is still still running through there, so that's the last piece that needs to be uh, cut out. Um, also, uh, since we've got that done, uh, we went ahead and laid in the wood straps, so I'll show you here sideways. They're all uh, screwed through the uh, metal. And uh, that will let us uh, screw some material onto the ceiling after it's been insulated, um, you know, to go ahead and do the finishing. The uh, windows have been ordered. Uh, the kitchen will be ordered this week. Just pan around here for you. Uh, like I say, some of the work is really slow going. Uh, because we're working with steel, not wood. I'm used to working with wood, so the steel is uh, twice as difficult to work with. However, considering this boat was built in 1968, uh, it's actually still pretty true. You know, if you take a look here right down the center, you can see how straight everything is here, which is actually very nice to work with. Uh, like I say, the only difference is there's twice as much labor in cutting and removing bits and pieces. Uh, hopefully we'll get rid of some of this debris right here. And then uh, yesterday um, I brought in the beams, as you can see right here, and they're what's going to uh, go up top and uh, take care of the um, structure for the uh, solar panels etc so hopefully by the end of week number five um, we'll see all that uh, up top uh, winter has kind of came in on us so uh, it's gotten pretty cold out we've got one heater in here that runs off the generator so it's not so bad but anyway that's uh, the end of week uh, three and four um, stay tuned for week five should be some nice changes in